What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Adobe Clip, which was just released for Android a year after the iOS version. But hey, we know that Adobe is a little bit slow, but eventually those apps come and now it is here. I'm showing you this uh, on a Nexus 9 tablet, but officially the app is not available for tablets, just like with basically every other of Adobe's um, creative apps. But you can just grab the APK from apkmirror.com, install it on your tablet and see if it works. Um, but you know, it's not officially supported. So if something is broken, do not expect Adobe to fix it, but you can just try that on your device and see if it works. Um, I really don't know and don't really understand why this app is not released for tablets because it would make perfectly sense in my opinion but anyways um, it is possible because of how Android works so let's take a look at the app it's Adobe Premiere clip as you can see and that means that it's a mobile video editor and you know mobile video editing it's not very powerful I've used a couple um, really a while ago actually and you know to be honest, I've never been too impressed. It's it's not really for video editing, right? It's it's you know if you expect to use this to make a Hollywood movie, I have to disappoint you unless you are going for something like Taken Three, uh, because that was just horrible <laughs> editing in my opinion. But other than that, you you won't be using this app for for like a real. Uh, real serious movie. So at the top you have a few tabs. You have my projects, community videos and published videos. So the community videos are basically videos made by other people that they published and uh, you can uh, watch them. Of course you can sign in with your Adobe account to have everything synced immediately to the Creative Cloud which is very nice. But we're just gonna create a project uh, to show the app. So with the button right here you can um, start a new project basically um, you can uh, import a photo from your gallery from Lightroom from the cloud or uh, from your camera straight away so I'm gonna pick from the gallery and I have a couple of uh, photos from animals in the zoo and video uh, so you can simply select those clips and then hit done and then you have the decision to create an automatic project which basically uh, the app will create a video for you with music edited to the to the music and you can customize the, the pace the order of the clips and the music it's really basic really simple or you can select freeform which gives you a little bit more freedom but we're gonna start with automatic for this project right now all right so uh, the app created a video automatically so let's take a look at what it created All right, so it's a very short video, but it's actually pretty cool. And as you probably could hear, the transition between the clips, um, where they they were synced to the to the beat. Now there are some things that you can do, right? So you can basically select the soundtrack or at which point the soundtrack should start. But I'll just have that at the beginning. I actually pretty liked the, um, like the way they did that. But you can just uh, select a, uh, a soundtrack or listen to one. And if you if you think that's that's better fitting your video, then you can select that one. But we're just gonna keep the one that they gave us, which is pretty nice. Now I have a couple of things up here. So so the first one is the music which we are in now, and here you can basically select the pace of the video, and you cannot uh, select anything in between those points. It's really not always working very well but you can you cannot simply select anything in between but if you think that this is too fast you can make it a little bit slower and take a look at the video again uh, so that's something you can do here now here you have another uh, tab which basically lets you set the the order of the clip so if you say I want 
the elephant to uh, have that at the beginning of the video you can simply drag and drop it works pretty well and if you start looking at the video again you will see that the video is at the beginning of the clip so the great thing is that if you want a little bit more control you can actually convert this project to freeform by hitting this button so this will give you a little bit more freedom you can trim clips you can change the look and feel of the clip you can even add titles adjust the volume you just have a more uh you just have more control basically so let's let's try that out and see what it does for our clip all right so here you can see our free form project right now and um, one thing you will immediately notice is that you have the clips here at the bottom right away so you can immediately grab one and basically say I wanted to have that there um, so that's pretty um, pretty nice right away so with the slider here you can select the length of a clip so right now this is a photo that is now being shown for three seconds but with this slider I can make that longer to six seconds for example if I if I like that or make it shorter of course for the purpose of uh, this video I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter um, but that's something you can do for every individual clip in your timeline basically again you have a few tabs up top here so the first one basically lets you select uh, individual clips and change the exposure highlights or shadows so if I have this elephant right here and I want the exposure to be a little bit up and whatever I can just drag the sliders around a little bit until I have the result that is uh, that is good and the great thing is that you can do that individually for every clip so the second slider lets you do uh, a couple of things with the clip you can duplicate a clip and um, also use it in or turn it into a story card which is pretty interesting so if you have like some kind of a storyboard um, you, you just don't have the footage yet you can add a picture in and, and add, uh, make a note um, that you want to edit to add uh, footage at a later point so that's pretty nice but that's let's actually take a look at this clip because this is a video of course of the running rhinos uh, and um, you can uh, basically split the clip right so here I could say at this point this white line indicates that I could make a uh, split by tapping that button and as you can see we now have two clips which means I can grab this crocodile, put it in between, and if we start watching the video, you will see that you first get the elephant, of course, you will get the bit of the rhinos running, the crocodile, and then it continues with the rhinos. Oops. So that's pretty, uh, pretty cool as well. You can just split the clip, um, essential to any video editor, of course. Because this is a video clip with audio, you have that extra tap up uh, uh, up top and you can completely select whether or not to play audio and change the volume and there are a few other options as well like smart volume um, so every you know all the audio of the of the clip will be consistent uh, and there are even options that uh, with the soundtrack that the music will uh, have a little lower volume when someone in the video is speaking the software will recognize that that's pretty neat of course and then there is basic stuff like uh, audio fade in and fade out you have a couple of other options up here um, for example with this button you can um, you can make changes to the soundtrack you have a little bit more options uh, uh, than with the creative uh, or with the, with the auto mode um, so you can like I said snap a uh, uh, snap the, the clip to the beat of the music and uh, the auto mix will make sure that the audio is a bit lower uh, the, the music is a bit lower when you have someone speaking in the video the button next to that uh, music icon will let you change the look of your video so basically uh, we have our elephant up here and we can select a filter like noir and you can see that it changes colors based on the filters now the thing is I select this and if I go back you will see that every single clip will have that same filter then there are some video settings which include fading uh, and uh, if you have photos you can have that photo motion that 
it zooms in slightly on, on every photo, uh, which is really nice if you have uh, your vacation photos and you want to make a, a nice video with that. Some nice music and, you know, this kind of slideshow effect. And then when you are done, you can tap this button and, and watch the final result full screen. That, that was just a part of the video that was just 10 seconds, but you will get the idea. And when, then when you are done, you can share it. You can publish and share the video with everyone else. You can edit it in Premiere Pro, so you will actually send it to Premiere Pro on your computer to do some uh, more editing. You can save it to Gallery, to Creative Cloud, or publish directly to YouTube. So that's really nice. I think that's, uh, that's a very nice addition. So yeah, that's basically the app. Um, and you will understand that it is very nice for these, I'd say for these collection of photos that you want to turn into a slideshow, maybe some, some video footage as well, but you don't have a separate audio track or something like that, right? So really, if you, if you want to do some serious editing or you have multiple uh, cameras even, that's, you know, you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do that very easily. That's that's not um, that's not something you can do here because you don't have multiple tracks. So for very basic, quick video editing, it's 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 nice, it's good. But if you want anything more, then you yeah you you can't really do anything with that. But you know you gotta start somewhere, and maybe this will kickstart your Hollywood video editing career. So. Give it a try if you are interested in it. And like I said, just grab the APK and check out if it works on your tablet. It works on this one, which is, uh, yeah, I, I don't see a reason why they don't just uh, enable it or allow tablet users to install it. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching and take care.